If your business is growing and if you're really looking forward to set up an online store for your business and not only just an online store, if you want to really start to collect payments online, use a payment gateway for your business, look nowhere if you're a starter and a beginner, this is the video for you. Hi, this is James Vineet, author, coach, and a good friend who wants to see you prosper and grow in business. See, there are multiple payment gateways, okay? It could be Razorpay, could be Instamojo, could be PayPal, multiple payment gateways. It's been my habit to test multiple things and really recommend what really works. I still use other payment gateways too. But if you're a starter and if you don't know much about technical stuff, just like that just a plug and play uh, payment gateway this is where you could start okay insta mojo i've given you the link just below this video i would call this video more like a sws okay sit with system right so as you watch or listen if you could just open up your laptop or computer and do this side by side i think by the end of this video you would have your online store set up and also your payment gateway set up you can start collecting payments in a jiffy like this right so click the link below you'll come up with this particular page just click on sign up okay so you're going to be signing up to insta mojo just give your email address and create a password for your account and just click set up as business okay so just to save time i've done this process for you and as you fill this I do have multiple InstaMojo accounts, but still just to explain you in this video, I've created another uh, account. As you fill up details over here, it, you'll end up in this particular step. It's a five step process. Step one, you've got to choose your store name, instamojo.com slash at. You can give your own store name and just click on your business type. It's whether you're an individual or a registered organization, partnership, private limited, all of that. And it's all online okay you don't have to go anywhere no nothing to do it's all just online just fill up all your details and and you know enter your pan card details and all that and you might have to upload your you know registration documents and certificates your account is ready just like that and i think initially as you set up you will have limits less than 10,000 or so you know transaction limit and once your kyc you know your customer all your document verification is done online you would probably have unlimited access to all these uh, platforms so just go click choose your business type maybe clothing accessories shoes and you know your approx turnover number of people number of years in business do you have a website just go with this one by one give your pan card details and just once you do that It'll, you, you can move on and complete all these processes and your online store or payment gateway is ready. How online store can be done in this payment gateway? I get your question. Let me just take you through the process one by one. Okay, just go to Google and search for Insta Mojo space your business category and online store. Okay, so in this space, in this space, I want you to type your own business category. Let's just say insta mojo jewelry store you will find so many dwellers who are using insta mojo store and they're selling online you could try insta mojo bakery store or fashion store and you will be able to find just search it for your business category and you will come across so many others who are already selling online in your business category as well and you could set up your store right now right here today uh, I've just shortlisted a few links from whatever popped up from my Google search. Just wanted to show it to you. You see somebody is having a jewelry store. They have these products. See, when you want to initially start an online store, yes, the best way to start an online store is use a high-end app and use the look and feel, all that matters. But you know, you'll have to spend 50, 70,000 or 1 lakh and above for that. But there's nothing wrong. It's worth every single penny. But if you're in the nascent stage, you really want to move from traditional to digital. And if you just want to test the waters, you want to see how the market is responding. I would recommend go with Insta Mojo store because it's free. And you also have Google Analytics and all those analytics can be activated and drive traffic to this website. Drive at least 10,000 people 
to your online store and then see how many sales are you making is this really going to you know take off then you plan on moving on to a bigger store with all you know high end stuff like you know look and feel all that initially your online store is just going to look like this i i think it's not too bad and it's not too good okay it's it's okay for the start it's fine because you could post on social media the initial budget that 40 50000 you can start driving the traffic to your website by running ads on facebook or instagram or youtube as well so just click on this you'll go for add to cart just go here and make the payment boom you get the payment and you can ship the product to the customer just another jewelry store just for you to get a hang of it somebody's into bakery you see how they've got all these things online and somebody is making cakes so you could even uh, be running a traditional business but let's just say somebody calls you and says you know i need a 1 kg birthday cake and you know you you take it online and you ask them for payment they say i'll come there and give you while the during the delivery i'll give you i'll pay you this i'll pay you that all of that see the best way to run your business is to run it on systems to run it on autopilot mode if you ask anybody in gfi gfi means growth foundation international that's the entrepreneur ecosystem that we run it's a business forum that we run every single member would say the best way to run the business is on autopilot mode based on systems you know i know the owner i know this person no 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 sir we have a process i'm sorry once only when the order comes the purchase department will make the purchase and you know the next steps are taken you want a 1 kg or 2 kg cake just go to our website and just book your thing over there you know just pay and confirm your order and then you know we have a tat turn around time 4 days 5 days to deliver we'll take it forward so could you please do that you know slowly start transitioning from you know all the traditional uh, stuff towards systematic stuff when it comes to growth metrics and growth enablers even you see somebody is done a fashion store you know i think right now you're able to already visualize how would it be if i sell my products like this just go to google and search for people in your industry in your segment who's already selling on insta mojo right and it's just not this there are so many advantages and features in insta mojo let me just show that to you see something that insta mojo alone has i don't think not many other payment gateways has is you could pass on the convenience fee to the customer boss is it costly to use this it's free but you'll be paying 2% plus gst on transaction this is pretty much common with any other payment gateway even if you have your own online store you will still need to be paying the transaction fees okay so 2% plus gst gst is at 18% odd okay if you've got a gst number you can feed that you can take input for that otherwise you'll have to start bearing that but one thing that insta mojo does it so beautifully is you can, if you want you can pass on the convenient convenience fee to the customer see this 2% plus gst right so for 100 rupees that's about 2% plus gst 2 rupee 36 paise so somebody is buying a making a purchase for 1000 rupees we are talking about 23 rupees odd you will have to shell that money you know insta mojo will take that money and they will pay that money to you within 2 to 3 days from that particular transaction suppose you feel like no i want the same day i want the money in my bank account same day you have you can you have a setting for that as well you will just have to pay a little extra for the transaction charges and not only that you can actually say that you know 1000 rupees is fine but i don't want to pay that 23 rupees odd just you collect that from the customer itself insta mojo can just do that beautifully where it can collect that convenience free from the customer and you know you don't have to you just get whatever you sold for and if you go to the bottom they give you a lot of free resources and multiple things and they've got wonderful apps which you can use as an add on uh, stuff okay a lot of apps i've been a big fan of some of these apps uh, you know if you want to generate invoices you want to request a payment all those apps are there couple of apps that i really love are one is this SS, sms sales alert suppose you're outside you're traveling you're touring okay somebody you you get a sale in your store you get an sms on your mobile phone saying that so and so person has given this order beautiful 
The other one is retry payment, just like all the high end websites or ticket booking platforms where when somebody is trying to make something and then they drop off, it's called buyer ab cart abandonment or buyer dropout. Okay, when the buyer is dropped out and you can actually trigger an um, email to that particular buyer saying that, you know, continue to buy this product. Beautiful, isn't it? In fact, you will even have the data if you want somebody from your office to call and follow up and just check whether they've got some concerns, you can even do that. Let me just log in into my account and show you some high-end advanced features as well. Well, so here's the dashboard. You can go here and check out all your payments. You can click on payments and you know, you can add filters to find out how many people paid you this month, last month, this whole year, all of that. Okay, and not only that, let me just go ahead and show to you how to add a product, okay? I talked about online stores, right? So now you wanna add a product that you wanna sell, okay? You can choose between physical product, digital product, even tickets and others. Let's just say you wanna sell a physical product and uh, you wanna sell a wallet, okay? A leather wallet, okay? So give the designations or the descriptions for the product and uh, product category women clothing shoes accessories okay so you can add all these things you can click here and add your images up to five images you can add you can give your price let's say you want to give it as triple nine and you know you, you will be shipping this product within two days give that if you've got shipping charges you can activate that they also have something called shipping settings you know insta mojo also has some third party uh, you know collaborations where they they call it as uh, mojo express so you can even use that one where you know insta mojo helps you to ship your products as well cool isn't it and suppose if you don't want this you know um instamojo.com slash you know whatever extended domain name you can even purchase your own domain name and you know integrate that with insta mojo as well and you have this fantastic option it's called let anyone opt in and become a reseller of this product if you want to have affiliates for your product let's say you're selling your wallet for triple nine and if you want somebody to help you promote this product virtually, digitally, and you're willing to spend 100 or 200 rupees as commissions or, you know, giveaways for them. And they could just pick up this thing and they can start selling your products. The product is mapped to your own store, but they'll just promote the links. How cool is that, right? So you can also give you a commission value if you're doing that and, you know, all those things. Add product to store. Boom, your product is ready. You just have to add your images and give all the nice descriptions about your product and somebody clicks buy now they'll have to pay and they can get your product and uh, what about discounts promo codes offers why not just go to discount code why am i telling you all these things is because i want you to start using these things okay start collecting payments in style not only about online store you can also use this as a payment gateway i'm going in a minute i'm just going to show you how to do that as well let's say you want to give a new code new promo code okay wow you want to give 200 rupees off and just you know for three people you want to give it Right, so just copy this link and as you can copy this link and paste, you can find out that only with the person having that special link for them only, okay? So instead of triple nine, they'll be paying seven nine nine. Others, they just open the normal regular link, they'll only find nine nine nine. How cool and beautiful this is, right? So enjoy guys. And not only this, just click on create payment link. You wanna collect payment from your customers, your vendors, somebody wants to give you 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, payment is waiting outside. They're asking you, do you have Google Pay? Do you have Paytm? Do you, do you have this, that, all that? So you just don't want to wait, you know? When somebody says, sir, I don't have money, you can even just somehow convince them, boss, I'll give you the payment gateway. If you've got a credit card, at least use your credit card and pay because I'm also waiting. Somehow you can have all these systems in place to convince people to pay you as well. So purpose of payment, let's just say, Somebody has to give you a pending payment of uh, 32,000. Just create. We are done. So you can just copy the link and send it to them. You can preview the link. You can send it by WhatsApp. You can use send it by mail, what not. You know, we're just opening that link. 
this is the special link that you'll be sending to your customer who's yet to pay you and they just have to give their name okay i'm just giving you some random names okay done so they can scan the qr code use uh, gpay paytm click on more payment options sometimes e even emi would uh, you know act but you don't have to do anything all that the payment gateway will take care the interest all that the payment gateway will take care and it'll collect from them why are their credit card super duper isn't it yes my friends don't just be listeners but be doers okay so i just want you to get into action start collecting payments in style let nothing stop your business's growth nobody's excuse should stop your business growth i want to see you grow 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 and keep growing to an amazing heights in business as well well if you like this content just subscribe to our uh, channel like our page follow our podcast and not only that if you think this information is super duper useful share it with your other entrepreneurs friends so let them also achieve skyrocketing growth in their business this is james vinith i'll see you in the next video till then take care bye bye